Hello everybody and welcome to an EHP tutorial on how to use the self-assessment tool to assess your hospital pharmacy. The first thing you will need to do, if you haven't done it already, is to create an account. You will need to include your email address and choose a password. Once your account is created, you can start assessing your hospital pharmacy. As you can see, you will have the option of choosing to do either an official assessment or a personal assessment. EHP will only collect data from the official assessments. Therefore, official assessments should be led by the Chief of Pharmacy. EHP strongly recommends to do the assessments with the whole pharmacy team when possible. The tool also allows to do the personal assessment, but the data will not be sent to EHP. And please remember that all data is anonymized. The first section, Section A, helps describing your hospital so you can then compare yourself with other hospitals with similar characteristics when generating their report. Once you have finished Section A, just click Save and Continue, and then you will start assessing the level of implementation of the 44 European Statements of Hospital Pharmacy within your pharmacy. You will have to assess all statements by selecting the level of implementation within your pharmacy for each one of them, with the range going from Not Started to Completed. Each level of implementation has a score assigned to it. The scoring system will help creating your individualized action plan. Assessing your hospital pharmacy will take about 30 minutes. But don't worry, if you don't have time, you can stop the assessment and come back to finish later on. Please keep in mind that if a statement is not applicable to your pharmacy, that statement will not be taken into account for the final scoring. Once you have assessed the 44 statements, you can either fill out the remaining sections or just click Save and Continue and finish the assessment. Sections C, D and E are optional and you can come back and fill them out at any moment. Your assessment summary will give you an overall implementation score and also an individual score for each of the sections. Now is when you can create your individualized action plan. The statements are divided into two categories depending on the scoring, first priority and second priority. The first thing you will need to do in order to get an individualized action plan is to prioritize the statements by rating the feasibility and benefit of implementing those statements within your hospitals. Statements that are already implemented and not applicable statements will not appear in this section. If you rate a statement as low feasibility and low benefit, that statement will not go to the final action plan. After rating the statements, again divided in two categories, a final action plan will be created taking into account the ratings you assign to each one of the statements. For each statement included in the final action plan, you can find a link that goes to our brand new statement website. Each statement has its own landing page with a description and a list of resources that will help your pharmacy to move towards statement implementation. The tool allows you to generate a report that will help you compare your hospital with the other hospitals within your country and within other member countries. You will be able to choose different filters to generate the report. So, for instance, you can compare your hospital with other hospitals within your country or with other hospitals with the same number of beds. You can combine the filters as you want. You can then compare yourself by checking the answers given by the hospitals you filtered before you will be able to check which percentage of hospitals have selected your same answers and then see where you are in comparison with the rest of the hospitals. Please keep in mind that you can also check all your answers by clicking on My Assessment. Don't forget that you can export the action plan and all your answers into a PDF. That way you can share the results with your colleagues. You can update your assessment as many times as you want. EHP recommends to update the assessment at least every six months to show progress and identify which statements your pharmacy should be focused on. Do you still have questions about the tool? Don't worry, you can visit our Q&A section or just drop us an email at statements at ehp.eu and we will get in touch with you. Thank you very much for your attention and see you at the 23rd EHP Congress in Gothenburg.